Ted White is Aretha Franklin's first husband. Um, he's the one that in, um, helped groom her into the Aretha Franklin that we all know and love. She went from singing standards to, you know, gospel to, okay, let's go take you into become the R&B queen of, uh, or just the queen period, uh, Aretha Franklin. So changed the dress and changed uh, her, the venues she was playing, changed the record company, and together they uh, and built her into, he was a catalyst in Aretha's life. I want you to see a man that loved a woman. He was a damaged man with a, a tainted past that falls in love with this woman, sees what she can be, gives her his all. They fall in love, and then she starts to outgrow him, and then he becomes insecure. And then the terrible things come out of him through the insecurity. I would describe their relationship as um, beautifully toxic. Um, there's people that come in your life and, you know, it's, uh, they have this love, um, but they have this damage. Sometimes two chemistries don't work. And uh, I think over time, uh, I think his intentions m may have been pure in the beginning, but over time, you, you, the, you, your learned behavior comes out, and there's certain things that you can't um, overcome. And, uh, and insecurities are one of those things. I'm walking toward her office, and I'm looking at the walls, and I see the sets, and I see the, the garments, and I see the costumes, and I see pictures of Aretha Franklin and uh, the time and, 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 and the pictures of Ted and I'm watching all these different things as I'm walking toward her office and when I sat down in her office I said wow I just took a trip through her brain I'm um, she had me before hello because I knew I was like yo she's on top of it she knows because I produce a lot of movies and when I know when a director's in a a good zone I've been in enough movies and she had the world created and I was like I want in especially after before I even talked to her and once I talked to her and we had the same connection on, and, and understanding on a character you know from there it was just nothing but but trust and I give myself to you so I'm your clan this is an amazing journey and I, I credit Liesel and I credit Tracy who you know penned this and they've created a great a great piece of work for us to all give ourselves to like all of us every day we give ourselves like I leave the set and I sometimes I'm just emotionally drained like literally like I, I just feel like I know I gave it anything she asks I just I trust her and she goes she'll just, she'll just say thank you and I go no thank you and she goes I, I and, and she'll hug me afterward like like she knew she brought me into a, a certain place I didn't want to go, but I, and I gave it to her and she's like, thank you. And I'm like, don't thank you for bringing it out of me. Forrest Whitaker is, he's, he's, the, he's the one we all try to Im impress. He's the, um, he's the example. You know, Forrest comes to work, he's prepared. He always has something that he wants to do. He knows where it's at. He knows his beats. He knows, you know, he, this is an Oscar award-winning legend that you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with. So when I'm in scenes with him, I got, I got to bring it. Jennifer, you know, the amount of work she's doing every day, nobody can complain about nothing. Because what they what she's doing is magical, and um, so it's just you you to support what she's doing. We gotta bring out 150 percent, 100 ain't enough, 150 percent every day.
it's funny, this movie uh, allowed me to really apply every last single thing I learned in performing arts high school. I've never, uh, this and maybe Requiem are the two movies that I really got to just dig in and really do the work of, of, of an actor, a trained actor. And um, I'm just grateful to be in this situation with this group of people from the cast to uh, the crew to all the people, all the tentacles that's helping us every day. Uh, you know, it's, it's a blessing to come to work every day.